in a previous video I finished building my custom running boards so they none on both sides there's one thing left for me to do here and that would be to finalize the cutout for my wheel arch stiffen up that edge and who knows I might even consider a skirt let's get into it <laughs> So the very first thing in my mind is practicality. I mean, I have to be able to take the wheel off, which is obviously impossible at the moment. So number one, form has to follow function. So I think what I'm just going to do is air the truck up completely so we can see what we have then. Well, that's fully aired up, not necessarily where I'm going to be riding it, but even at this position, yeah, I still can't take this wheel off. So I have to cut it open some for a start, just for the practical side of things. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the chassis up so that the suspension are actually hanging and we can see what we have then. Okay, jacked up. Suspension fully extended, wheel is off the ground, and it's still impossible to take it off. <laughs> so my number one priority is to cut it open enough so I can actually get the wheel off. Right, so for the departure point, I'm going to mark a circle that's the same diameter as the actual tire. And to create the center here, I've clamped on this piece of wood that I've now lined up to correspond to the center of the rim and then this stick is roughly the same radius as the tire itself so let's mark a line here like this to see what we get So I'd be interested to see how that corresponds to the wheel arch in the front. So I've marked this uh, template here with this dirty piece of cardboard just to have something. So let's go stick this in the back and see what we get. Okay, let's see. Okay, it needs to be going down. So yeah, I mean that front cutout is pretty much also a, well, very close to a true semicircle. Yeah, obviously it's smaller than the back, but that makes sense because my back wheel is a lot bigger than my front wheel. So I kind of think we're on the right track. I think I can fine tune this line here. Same in the back. Maybe take this a little bit more forward. I'm not sure yet. Okay, well, I mean, we can argue about the shape of this cutout as much as we want. <laughs> but the bottom line is, if I don't cut at least this out, I can't get that wheel off. So I'm just going to cut it. I am going to steal just a little bit up here, maybe, for a start. Half an inch or so. I can't cut it with the plasma cutter because I'll set my tire on fire. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to use the grinder. And just to be safe, Rather safe than sorry, I've got a piece of wood stuck in here because there's not a hell of a lot of space between this and the tire itself and I definitely don't want to stick the grinder into the tire. Let's go! What did I do? 
Right, so for better or for worse, but before I do anything else, let me see if I can get this wheel off now. That is the first thing we need to see. Because if I can't get it off, I have to cut some more. I think it'll come off though. Let's find out. Right, the moment of truth. Let's see. Maybe I should just sit on my ass. Get a little bit more comfortable here. Here we go. Ah, yes. Very tight. Yeah, still catching here, eh? So I need to take off a little bit here and a little bit there. Let's out. Let's just try something else. <laughs> but jack the truck up a little bit more. That's what I need to do. <laughs> There we go, it's out. So I just need to jack it up quite high and then we can get it out. Jack it a little bit more. Right, maybe I can get it back a little bit easier now. <laughs> Let's see. Yes. So that is enough of a cutout. Let me get this wheel back on here. And then we can look at the aesthetic implications of what I've just done. <laughs> Tell your blood, sweat and tears to build these things. Now you've seen the blood, you've seen some sweat. I've yet to show you some tears. <laughs> right, so the wheel can come off. Now let's see if I take it off the jack. I don't think that's been much of a change. Now let's air her out and slam it. <laughs> And what does that look like? Ah, well, I hate to say it, but I think I've cut too much here. It should maybe go more there. I think if I radius this some, let's do that first. It might make it look a little bit better, I don't know. I cut that bit off, I think. Let me just raise it up a bit. I'm not happy with what I've just done here. This line is too straight. So I've got two options. I can take <coughs> some of the straightness out of it by doing something like that. I don't know. Well, my other option is to add a little piece in here. So I can kind of go more that way. I don't, no, don't know, eh? Could be a case of uh, doing it twice to get it nice. I do believe a little bit of experimentation might be in order. So I've cut this piece off the piece I just cut off. And I'm going to glue this piece back on here so we can try again. I've got this little piece tacked on here now. So I'm going to try this cut first. To see if that will make me happy. Ah. 
Okay, I'm a little bit happier with this shape now. That's the beauty of steel, eh? You can just glue bits back together again. So next for me, I'm going to edge this now with some uh, six millimeter quarter inch round bar all the way. To help me hold that round bar in place, I've made up a few of these little jigs. It's a piece of flat bar. And I drilled a six millimeter hole in there, and cut a slot. So my round bar fits in like this now. And then on this side, I've got this little bit of, of a tab, so I can clamp it on. Let me show you how it works. So we want the round bar to sit like that and line up nicely with that edge. So my little jig will slide across like this. We clamp it on and now it lines up that round bar perfectly and we can tack it on all along. Like that. So my round bar overlap it's consistent right through and it's lined up nicely with the edge of the sheet metal. So that's where I get consistent results. Much easier or better than trying to do it freehand. I've even gone so far as to make a little mark every inch and a half so that my tacks will be nice and equally spaced. I made a, shall we call it an enlarged diagram of how my little gizmo works. So there's my clamp. That there is my sheet metal, and there's my piece of round bar. So when I put my little jig on here and I clamp it, it will obviously line up the top of the sheet metal with the top of the piece of round bar. And then when I push it in from that side, or even tap it lightly with a hammer, it will push that piece of round bar right against the edge of the sheet metal for a nice, perfect line up. So I've got my piece of quarter inch six millimeter round bar roughly bent in here. You can see down here it still needs to be fitted properly. But I'm going to work my way along. So in this area we're good. And once I've tacked here, I will keep working my way along, bending, clamping and tacking. I'm stuck in a piece of cardboard here. Just want to keep the sparks, the welding sparks off my shiny new wheels. So this section from here to here is good. I think I'm going to start tacking these bits on and then work my way along. So what makes these little jigs really nice is you can just clamp it on roughly and then you tap it into place like that and it automatically lines everything up can't go any further than that and we're good to tack it on okay lacquer man oh if you don't know lacquer is a south african slang word for cool I worked my way all along the edge here and now it's capped with the quarter inch six millimeter round bar. It stiffened it up nicely. I'm happy. If you peek, take a peek in there you might see a little stabilizer bar that I've just added to give me some extra support in the back here. I'm not going to grind off these tacks yet because when I do there will be very little weld material left. So when I take this off, I want to tack it a little bit from the inside as well. And then only will I grind these uh, tack welds. So we've taken care of the practical aspects. My edge on the wheel arch is reinforced. Um, I can get my wheel out. If I want to change <laughs> wheels, or I get a flat. We're currently sitting in maximum ride height position. If I jack the frame up, the wheel does drop down a little bit more and I can get it out. So now, uh, let's play with some aesthetics. I think I'm just going to air out the truck first and slam it completely so we see what that looks like. Yeah man, that's pretty cool. So, um, I'm kind of wondering now, shall we play with a skirt? 
A lot of you guys have actually voted to fit the skirt. Let's um, explore some options. Yeah, I don't think a full skirt's going to work for me, man. Makes me think of a lady from the Victorian times. There's no leg showing here. Let's slam her and see what that looks like. No, man. I mean, what's the point of having shiny wheels if you can't see them? Doesn't work for me. <laughs> So that full skirt mock-up is off again. Now you know when it comes to skirts, I actually like mini skirts the best. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I mean it does show <laughs> a lot of leg. <laughs> but let's try a midi skirt. So I've made this mock-up. So I'm just going to stick that on there. And we can see what that looks like. Another piece there on that side. Yeah, so what do you think? Let's call that the mini skirt. At least now I see some shiny wheel. Um, we are currently still aired up. Let's slam her and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think I like that better than the full skirt. One can still maybe fiddle with that cut out a bit and fine tune it a little bit more. Take it up again. Okay, well, I can't make up my mind. I don't think I like the full skirt. Maybe the midi skirt. Or no skirt. So I'm going to actually leave the choice up to you guys. So I would like you to pick your favorite option and let me know in the comments and then I will actually do what is the most popular option. How about that? <laughs> so please let me know. There are three choices. Full skirt, midi skirt or no skirt. I look forward to hearing from you. And then, um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me out here in the shop. I enjoyed your company. I will see you then in the next video where we actually do the most popular option. Until then, have a lucky one.